It's time to get dressed! With these pants, I'll have the strength of 1,000 orangutans in trouser form! Hooray! Let's see those jungle bullies push my buttons now. <laughs> Back off, six legs. That's my egg salad! <laughs> you cheated! No going over the top! <laughs> I like eating sand, huh? <laughs> Do I ever? <laughs> Yummy! Oh. <laughs> Time to give Mother Nature a spanking. <sighs> oh, hi. Don't mind me, just doing science. You know, underwaterology stuff. That wasn't me. Who's a wimp now? Bring it on, horned face! <laughs> Strike! You. How do you like eating stuff that isn't food, huh? Fuzzy little bombs! Boo hoo hoo! Wow, we! Is there anything your orangu pants can't do? No, they do it all! Now you're in for it! From who? George? Oh, he's strong, all right. But is he oranga strong? I think not! <laughs> He just walk. He could have been here an hour ago. I don't know, okay? I don't know! Hey, bad doctor! Stop beating up animals! Well, thank you for finally showing up. It's not like I had important stuff to do today or anything! <laughs> Time to crank it! <laughs> Impossible! No one's that strong! Cuspid! Ew! Those are the same underwear you wore yesterday! What? No, that. How do you know that? Wow, that only took forever! I... But I guess that's what happens when you hit every tree in the jungle. Admit it, George. You have a tree problem. But George always hit trees. I'm ranting here. George, you need help. Science help! According to my calculations, George spends over 12 hours a day about to hit a tree, hitting a tree, or hitting a tree again. It hasn't stopped him from being a good king. Not knowing basic math didn't stop me from being a scientist either. But it doesn't mean it was right. You don't know basic... Trust me, George. I make you better king. But first, we need some science data. Okay, George. Swing over here. I can't stop watching. I know. It's so hypnotizing. The way his face just stretches. How does help, George? Hello? Was uh, it's our, uh, you know, data and stuff. We need more data just after we watch this again. If I learned anything at online university, it's that you can't do science without a laser or two. Yes, but some lasers are extremely dangerous. You do know there's different kinds, right? I do. There's red lasers and there's blue lasers. This is a red one, so it's completely safe, scaredy cat. 
It'll scan George as he swings and makes all sorts of charty graphs. Okay, George, go! Uh, ah! George, fine! <laughs> okay, George, there's absolutely no trees to hit here, so just swing across the clearing. <laughs> you gotta be! George radiates something I like to call the Magnolia's Arbor Effect. He can't help but swing into trees. It's like he's a wood magnet. Trees always love George, ever since George was little. George, very popular when George was young. <laughs> Why George wrapped in tinfoil? You're like a balloon that never lost its static electricity. And as every scientist knows, the only way to get rid of electricity is with more electricity. Is George happy the way George is? George loves tree kisses! Pish posh poosh, a few hundred gigawatts and you'll never hit a tree again. I have to agree with George. If he prefers to remain as he is, you must respect that. Um, hello? You tried to brainwash him only five episodes ago? <laughs> Antidote. Antidote. Antidote! <laughs> Touché. <laughs> yes! I was foolish to think orangutans would be enough to stop George. Have you seen him recently? He's totally jacked! I need to find some new combination of animal and clothing. Something fabricticians have only dreamt about. Cuspid, fetch my finest cyber yarn! George, it's okay. The lightning's gone. Come on out. Come on. George feels <laughs> different. A billion volts will do that. Let's see if it worked. Go on. Swing! Uh. Ah, no hit tree! George never no hit tree! <laughs> it's okay, George. It's okay. It's better than okay! It's great! I'm the smartest wow. one! George, George, George of the jungle. Strong as he can be. Watch him pass those trees. Doesn't quite have the same ring. George miss his tree kisses. Scamper away! <laughs> hey, stop fighting animals, Doctor! First, how'd you get here so quickly? Second, who cares? Because I'm sporting my new gorilla sweater! George, teach you lesson! Oh, really? And what would that be? Grammar? Personal hygiene? You're not qualified to teach! <laughs> this is too easy! <laughs> it's like you're not even trying! <laughs> In fact, I don't even need my gorilla sweater! George, no understand! <laughs> that went better than expected. Now, where were you? <laughs> and for my discovery of the Magnolia's Arbor effect, I feel a Nobel Prize would be... Ow! Oh, man, that... George, what happened? You happened. Somehow you made George as weak as a very weak kitten. George must go back. Stop, doctor. Okay, okay. I'll do some science and figure out what's wrong. It's because he's not hitting trees. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's no way hitting trees made George strong. It's the only thing we haven't tried. Now swing! <laughs> Dumb. Face tree, no make it muscle. Magnolia been working out? No, but I figured out what happened to your strength. No mere researcher does that to a PhD. Uh, it's uh, tree vitamins, George. They get slammed into your cells every time you hit a tree. Magnolia's right. 
George's near constant dose of exotic tree vitamins gives him strength far exceeding your average ape man. Swing, George. Swing and hit as many trees as you can. George can do that. George, miss. Just hit a tree. Oh, George can't. For the love of. Hurry. My tree vitamins are wearing off. It's harder than it looks. Why is it so hard to hit a gap? George, hit tree soon. <laughs> Oh, that's weird! <laughs> oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Jungle love George again! Um, <laughs> I just got this sweater, and the first thing you do is rub greasy Jungle Man all over it? That'll never come out! George takes sweater ugly! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Tree kisses do make George strong! Good. I'm glad. I had to hit a lot of trees to figure that out. Am I missing any teeth? Um... Oh, no, no, uh, you fine. The Jungle, a typical Tuesday. Today is different. Today, the jungle gets a special treat. Yes, the legendary Blue Crooner. Her voice calms the savage beast. Tames the surliest volcano. She even does experimental jazz. Yeah, I don't get it. But that's a story for another time. Ooh, let's sit up front. You are king. George? Uh, better view at back. But it's the blue crooner. I need to hear every exquisite note. Can you see the stage? I can't see the stage. George, we should move closer. Nope. George good right here. <gasps> it's starting. <laughs> What's with this vibe? <gasps> uh, George? Now, Tiger? Not yet. Patience is the hunter's best quality, Weevil. After a loyal mustache. Watch out, Jungle. It's Tiger Titheridge and Weevil Plumtree. There are hunters, and then there's Tiger. His collection of trophies extends farther than our animators can draw. Tiger's the greatest hunter the world has ever seen. Weevil is working on it. Batman Hunters! Activate the monkey warning system. Hey, monkey! Do warning! <laughs> My word! <laughs> George Staff Hunters! George, wait! They're after the Blue Crooner! Yank that vine, man! Look out! Are you okay, madame? Yes, yes, quite fine. But that voice, it sounded familiar. Ain't up familiar. Mia, Tito. Tito? Blast! Grab Bertie! Talk about Tito later! Oh no, we lost her. Weevil, my feeble friend, this hunt has only just begun. Bad hunter's still behind us? <laughs> I'm sure I know you. No, no, me, Toti. I thought it was Tito. Where? Me no see Tito in ages. I'm positive we've met before. No. Nope. <laughs> You'll be safe here. Oh, this is George's home. You know him? How? Oh, Ape no one hear that old story. Yes, Ape does. I mean, yes, I do. Back when George was just a wee boy, I taught him to sing. He was the best student I ever trained. You see, every singer has a true voice, one that comes from their very soul. 
and we were close to finding George's inner music. Yes, George, yes, you're almost there. <laughs> bravo, bravo, George. But this is just a step on the path to finding your song, George's song. But one day, George stopped coming to lessons and answering the phone and his mail and the doorbell. That's not how George remembers it. <gasps> George? George, stop, because animals laugh at George. They all laugh at George. <laughs> I can't believe I was fooled by your feeble disguise. It's not your fault, it's a cartoon thing. Otherwise, we'd also notice that sawing sound. What sawing sound? Exactly. <laughs> Hello, feathers. Sweet dreams one, sweet dreams two. Blue crooner! I'll never sing for a monster like you! I don't want you to sing. I want me to sing. Oh my! He's full of jerky! So much jerky! They say the Blue Crooner's voice is hypnotic. Let's find out how hypnotic. I don't know how long we were out, but... Wait! Do you hear that? George, you're nothing. That's what I'm worried about. Hello! 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 And no one pick up coconut! George, it's the crooner! George, you're... Ooh, pretty sound. George, it's hypnotizing! Earplugs tickle. It's coming from this way. <laughs> hey, let animals go, bad hunters. Where's the blue crooner? She's in my throat. You eat crooner? Help me, George! Don't be a dunderhead. I'd never eat as useful a bird as her. <gasps> Your siren song has no effect on us. We stick bugs in our ears. Very clever. But are your insect earplugs wearing earplugs? <gasps> Ooh, that's smart. You'll make my best trophies yet. <gasps> Let's see what you got. First, me warm up. Do re mi fa so. La la li 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 lu lu. Mi ma 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 mo mu. Do re mi fa so. La 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 li li lu lu. Black block. Come on, man. Ready now. <gasps> yeah. Now that's a challenge! George! You're doing it! Ridiculous! No king should sound like that. George, don't listen to him. Don't listen to anyone. Reach down. Sing the song. 
that is deepest within you, St. George's song! <clears throat> now it's been a nice intermission, but it's time for the grand finale! <laughs> More? George reached down deep to the core of his soul and unleashed George's song. George's song, and there's no need to ever, ever sing it again. Uh -huh. But me not finished yet. Time for encore. No, that's really not. <laughs> <laughs> George, watch out for that tree. Yes, there he is. <laughs> the king of the jungle. And there's nothing George likes more than saving his subjects. We save you, big pretty kitty. Yes, George loves helping his animals. It's only 10 a.m. and George already helped a zebra find her stripes. Plucked a baby ape to safety. And helped a sad hyena laugh again. Nice work, George. <laughs> but does it seem odd how many rescues we've performed today? No, me love rescues. <laughs> Must stop Sloth <Sluff> dance battle. <laughs> Sloth, wait. You no dance fight. You dance friend. Watch me show you. Friend, 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 friend. Another one? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ow, oh, ow, ow, ow. Uh, uh, you welcome, baby monkey. Wait a second. George just rescued you from the river. Uh, that was my twin. Yeah, come on, let me go, bub. You got wrinkles and tattoos. What's going on uh, here? Name's Mildred, performer with Jungle Theater. Okay, gang, the game's up. Take your bow. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> me not know why bees sting me for real, but me love it. And see. Actors never work for free. Someone put them up to this. Someone who wanted to keep you busy. But who? Where did you get that? It fall out of baby ape's pocket. The ape council is behind this. It's ludicrous! Preposterous! Mystery solved! High five! Mystery not solved! I want answers, and I'm not stopping until... Fine! It was us! Look, the queen of the desert is due to arrive any day now! 
This being the year of the sacred jungle beach party! Every three years, the eight clans gather and conduct time-honored beach rituals. The construction of the sandcastle, the beach blanket boogie, and of course, the sacred volleyball tournament and weenie roast. But without a sand shipment from the queen of the desert, you can't make a beach. And no beach equals no beach party. We need that sand or all this awesome stuff we mail ordered is for naught. Not. So? So we always negotiate with the Queen of the Desert for her sand! So? We've seen George's negotiation skills! It's true. No deal. Okay, okay, me give you everything. Me say no deal! George is the only person in history to have negotiated with themselves and lost. There's a new queen of the desert, so this is our chance to get our sand without giving up too many bananas. Bananas! We're putting a temporary king of the jungle in George's place until negotiations are over. What? Chicken butt. All hail the new king! Ursula? Me new king? No, not her! All hail the new King Log! <laughs> we can't sit around and let a log take your place. George, what are you doing? Writing letter to Log. Say, hello. <laughs> you seem like nice fellow. One, that's not a pen. And two, that's not paper. It's a turtle. And three, you have to prove you're the better king before the Queen of the Desert gets here, or the council will never reinstate you. You right, eh? Two orders of business. One, you got a letter. Second, there are two warring tribes of lemurs across the jungle. You need to negotiate a peace settlement. George, get there first and save day. <laughs> Easy. Uh, oh. <laughs> <sighs> uh, um. Terrible ape. Lemur's so mean to George! <laughs> they in love because of Log! <laughs> Are you crying, George? George not good king. And George always cry at weddings. <laughs> you are a good king, George. We just need to show the council that. In honor of the log bringing peace to the warring lemurs, an honorary lunch buffet! This George's chance to show how good king he really is by eating like king. Remember, a real king shows patience and restraint. George? Oh, George! Oh. Eat! Everything! George! You ruined the buffet! That's terrible! Look! The log didn't eat a thing! It wants us to have its food! <sighs> but it's a log! <sighs> Welcome to the Caramel Council! Colonel Osiris, Lady Hecate, and Alice, the camel of many hearts. When shall we meet your new queen? In good time. Until then, we are eager to see the ritual dance performed by your new king. This new king's dance is a little lackluster. George, this is your last chance to show them you're a better king than a log. No way log dance better than George. George got sweet moves. Hit it, monkey bear. <laughs> Show everyone he could king. It's okay, George. I still believe in you. 
The new queen? The sun sets. Let the negotiations begin. <laughs> it's been hours, and the log hasn't said anything. But neither has the new queen. Wait, what's this? The log is definitely winning, because, well, it's a log. Hmm, Camel Council called. George put wood on sacred fire. George, that's the log. <gasps> oh, Meatburn King! <laughs> ah, Meatburn Queen! George, you smashed them into a termite mound. Ah! Oh, no! I saved her! I saved her! We are outraged and demand you surrender the entire jungle to us. No, Alice. That's not fair. Who be you? Me, Neferata, real queen of desert. Me, George, real king of jungle. But why you no do negotiations? Council tell Neferata she too smart for negotiations. Oh, dear. Okay. What fastest animal in jungle? <laughs> Cheetah or gazelle? With jetpack or without. Whoa! You smart! Me test you. What Neferata's favorite ice cream? Um, chocolate? It is? We never have ice cream before. You smart! <laughs> it okay, everybody. We both smart. Negotiations begin again. Ooh. Me like George. He have good heart. George like Neverada. Me give you whole jungle. <gasps> okay, then me give you whole desert. <gasps> okay, all done. Spring stand. Time for village party. Ah. <laughs> Why don't we just call it even, okay? Good job, King of the Jungle. I knew you were the right king for the job, George. George? I can't move. George stuck too. No worry. Tide come in. Wash us free. Hooray! <sighs> the jungle has many seasons. This, for example, is the hot season. You can tell because the hippos are melting. And this, as you may have guessed, is the rainy season, followed, of course, by shark season, which is itself followed by clean season, and then flying mud ball season, which is the harbinger of the worst season of all, fire nado season, or, as George so quaintly calls it, Months later. Here, Birdie Bird. I just want to give you kisses with the inside of my mouth. Here, Magnolia, Ursula, just want to give you one 
George, we need food, and we need it fast. <laughs> okay, George, go for snacks. George, just say we eat George? Uh, no. George, say... <laughs> That's very nice, George. <laughs> you know what to eat, George. <laughs> One George not be enough for everyone anyway. Stay here where it's safe. George, get snacks. But it's too dangerous out there. It's too dangerous in here. Back, Zippy Flash. George, watch out for the... <laughs> Fire Nido. <sighs> huh? Where is George? Wow. Well, this is delicate. How does a narrator break the news to his main character that he's, well... Just spit it out already. Down here, kiddo. In the puddle. Ah! Rowley and I! Rowley and I! Name's Lumpy Joe, actually. And I'm here to show you around Fine Halla, the heavenly home of the greatest kings and queens the jungle has ever known. No kidding, right? These are all the kings and queens who came before you, buddy. Queen Rubber Arms, the throwiest. Ain't nobody throw an angry monkey further than her. Like two miles, whoosh! <laughs> King Vegas, the stylist. Hair that could stop a charging rhino in its tracks, and did. King Bodang Slammer, the strongest. He moved the river to save his jungle when everyone was all thirsty, and then moved it back real fast to save him from drowning. Queen Ice Veins, the bravest, she tamed the jungle while wearing a dress made of raw pork chops. King Turf Burner, the fastest, he raced lightning and won. See, he just went to France and back. And I'm King Lumpy Joe, the very first king of the jungle. Come on up and take your rightful place among the greats, Georgie boy. George, very honored. He always try hard to be good king of jungle. So, what's your story? Tell us, and we'll carve it up on these pillars here for eternity and stuff. Well, friend's very hungry, so George go for snacks and step into Fire Nato. <laughs> Ouch. <gasps> king George who went for snacks and got burned to a crisp? Yep. <laughs> Get back to the living. And don't come back till you've done something great, you no-good bum. Now? For the tenth time, no. We're not eating him. <laughs> Rats! Hey, George, go to Crazy Vine Hollow Place with other kings and queens. They tell George he not great king. They say his bum no good. <laughs> What? George, you're a fine king. Remember when you rescued Dennis? Who else would give a skunk mouth to mouth? <laughs> and what about that time you saved Jerry? Who else is strong enough to give a giraffe the Heimlich? <laughs> Only the great ape knows how he accidentally swallowed Dennis. And you rescued everyone here from the fire nado. And right now you're protecting me from this hungry mob, right? Nobody needs Magnolia. That's not okay. George Wright. She too stringy. See, you're a great king. At least that's what we'd say if we weren't going to starve. No worry, no worry. George has idea. He get food and prove he great king to Vine Hala. Just need to be brave like Queen Ice Veins. Queen who? George, wait! <laughs> For first time, George smelled good. <laughs> you gotta do something great, not stupid! <laughs> huh? I told them they could eat your legs, but they had to stop at your knees. Hmm. Braveness not enough to be great, King. This time, George, be brave and run fast like King Turf Burner. Cats have nine lives, but I'm afraid George might be pushing it. Ursula, afraid he'd get too dry and chewy. 
Problem obvious. Need to be brave and fast and have great hair like King Bingus. George, hairspray and fire don't. Ah! Ah! George, stop this madness. You'll never make it through the fire nado alive. Ape, right. George must put out fire nado. And everyone have snacks, and George will be great king. So, George, be strong, like King Bodang Slammer. George, you can't wrestle fire. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula, like hers, medium rare. Go away, fire nado! Keep this up and you'll wind up for all the bad jungle kings and queens go. No, George don't want to go to find Hella. Ah! <gasps> George, stop! Your brain's been overcooked! Mm. Fighting a fire nado with your bare hands isn't a sound strategy. Ape right. Fighting is bad. George will eat fire nado. George, I don't know where you're getting all these terrible ideas, but stop. You're not being yourself. Ape right. So, what would George do? Instead of fighting, George make friends with fire nado. George would be kind-hearted enough to befriend a fire nado. Then again, there isn't much left to burn. It's amazing. Aw, he's even taking Bernie canoeing. Bernie, you smell something? Congratulations, Georgie boy. You finally pulled off a feat worthy of a place in Vine Halla. You will be known forever as King George the Trickiest. Trickiest? But George not tricky. Pretending to be friends with a fire nado so you can lure it into the river. What's sneakier than that? But George really is best fire friend with Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> what next? Card night with the wind? Bowling with the air? <laughs> no, listen to them, Bernie. George always be friend. You want to try on King Hat? Who let that fire in here? So somebody put that thing out. No good bum! George, you're alive! <sighs> we were so worried. Maybe George not strongest, smartest, bestest, or even have best hairdo, but he promised to be king of jungle with biggest heart. Already accomplished, my friend. Me coming, Jerry! Oh, oh, me coming, Dennis! George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in his crate, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ain't they ain't ain't, and away he'll schlep on his elephant, Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me!
If you're like me, you probably think, man, it'd be great to be a gorilla. Lounging around the jungle, eating bananas whenever you want, and don't get me started about all that amazing body hair. Lush. But some apes have it hard. Stop! I'm awake! I'm up! George? George, time to get up. Uh, George don't want to get up. <laughs> ah, little me trapped in metal. <laughs> hey, George can feed himself. <laughs> uh, frog? Oh, super big. No, George, the frog is close. Now, it's just further away. Frog shrink! How it goes so tiny! <gasps> frog magic! <sighs> hmm, that's a serious snake jam. We'll have to untangle it and... Uh, ape? Help? Help? <sighs> I'll get the soapy water. Ape! Ape! George need you! How did you get a bucket stuck on your head? <laughs> How will George know if it fits? Uh, George no likey. It's just a spoon. There's no little George in it. Ah, little George scared too. Everything okay, George? George can't find way out. Turn the door handle, George. Tiny room filled with water. <sighs> Those were the taps, George. <laughs> What do you mean you just lost it? How do you lose your arm? It looking at me. It's meatloaf, George. I make it for you every Thursday. It alive? It's not alive. Then where it go, huh? Uh... It go home to meet friends, plan revenge. And then the good jungle King George lived happily ever after. Good night, George. Good night, Ace. It's not that I'm sad, it's not that I'm mad, it's just that I wonder if I've sometimes been had. Just like a flower, I need room to grow, just like the wind, I need space to blow. A brain needs to think, a skunk needs to stink, but I'm like a pen that's run out of ink. I only have one question, but it's more than essential. I wonder, just I wonder, am I living up to my potential? Potential! Potential! <sighs> what? No, no, no. That'll never work for a trip to Mars. You'll be pulled into Jupiter's gravity well. <laughs> there. Much better. Hmm. Knight takes queen in six. Ah! Checkmate! Now that's a pickle. But if you solve for the square root of x, then it's just an, an inverse, inverse polynomial! polynomial. Ah! Whoa! Hold on! It's okay. I just want to talk to someone with an IQ in the triple digits. I mean, have you seen Cuspid? Gotta love him. But he's basically a walking display of my failure. I figured maybe we could... Uh, Are you asking me out? Just to hang out and talk about smart stuff. I don't know. It's a stupid idea. 
One condition. No evil. No goody-goody stuff either. Pinky swear. So, do you like hyper chess? Never heard of it. Kidding. I invented it. <laughs> that we'd have the same favorite noble gas. <clears throat> <laughs> Where Ape been? Oh, you know, the jungle. Ape missed George drowning cereal, and lake on fire, and bathroom swim, and bedtime story. George even do meatloaf night himself. <laughs> Argon. Oh, what happened here? Oh, Doc, oh my gosh, thank goodness you're back. There was an imposter, but don't worry, I got him good. Where were you anyway? You missed video games and flossing. <laughs> and my birthday. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I was out counting trees, you know. One, two, three. <laughs> Wait, trees can't count. Hey. There's more than one, two, three trees in the jungle. What's going on? Maybe a death laser? You promised no evil. How about an eco tank that shoots out trees? Ew, that's so goody goody, I'm getting covered in brownie points just thinking about it. Hmm, if you've got a better idea of what to build this afternoon. Giant robot? It's a classic. Too easy. Make it a giant robot octopus and I'm in. Done. We've got about an hour until Cuspin and George accidentally set something on fire, so that's more than enough time. Hey, how could you? Doc, why I never? Your doctor stole my ape! Your ape stole my doctor! What do you do about it? What are you going to do about it? I don't know! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we should work together and teach them a lesson! Yeah, but with who? And done. 48 minutes. Not bad. Who wants to take her out for a scuttle first? We know Ape and Doctor's secret. Yeah, we know it all. Hotspit, get out of there this minute! George, come down and I'll explain everything. No! Not till Ape and Doctor make up to George and Big Tooth thing for lying. Forget Please. it. No problem! It's only right. Too 
idiots will explode themselves. And so, to save their best pals, Ape and Dr. Chicago quickly came up with an incredibly smart plan. <laughs> A plan so brilliant, so ingenious, so incredible, that it was far too smart for our writers or artists to think up or draw. Phew! That too close for George. No kidding! I'm gonna need at least three fillings. We're just glad you're safe, ish. You know, George tests the limits of my intellect every single day. It's true. Without Caspin, my life would be far too easy. Ooh. Better, but too easy. Oh. Plus, you and I are too different to stay friends. Tree planting? Death lasers. Enemies again? <laughs> How did you get a bucket on your head again? One of the rarest and most exotic of jungle fauna, the flooper beast, is famous for exactly two things. Its luxurious feather fur, worth millions on the runways of Paris, Milan, and Saskatchewan. And of course, <sighs> floofing. But since we can't actually show floofing for reasons of common decency, we'll have to do this. That's right, floof away while Tiger gives you hippies a laser-guided haircut. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this jungle's supposed to be my personal huntopia, paid for by selling tiny, floofy clothes to models all over the world. But no matter what I try, that George of the jungle is always in the way. The studly net launcher. <laughs> The Macho Pit Trap! <laughs> the positively dripping with testosterone rope snare! <laughs> uh, maybe we could get him out of the way first? Top notch brain work, Weevil! And bottom rung timing. Why didn't your brain butter this up earlier? You know, maybe we Ow! could get George out of the. Way first. Why? Ow, we both. Oh, maybe we could get George out of the way first. Why? We both. Maybe we could get George out. <laughs> no, no reason. Come, Weevil. Catching that fool will be the simplest of gambits. We have everything we need. Last. Are you a prince? Weevil. Hold your lips. One, there's no kissing in the jungle. And two, this is a poisonous no-licky frog. And it's exactly what we need. Yes, the no-licky frog. One of nature's cruelest inside jokes. Years ago, they were actually known as, wow, you've really got to try this. Go on, give it a good licky, frogs. This was due to their unique flavor, which has been described as butterscotch mixed with happy memories of childhood. The frogs got so tired of being licked that they held a vote. It was unanimous. They wanted the licking to stop. They presented their idea to the Ape Council. But the council had one of their own. <laughs> now, trap me a hundred more for morning. I'm taking a strategic eye nap. in your mouth. <sighs> oh, George got a little crazy with coconut milk last night. Rare head medicine. <laughs> George, late for first patrol! Ooh, are you a prince? <laughs> George, another late morning? Goo! What a mess of strange flesh-like pudding. Yay! Ah! George, hold on! Ah! 
Tucky, tucky. Worst case of no licky frog poisoning I've seen this week. Big George. Yes, please tell us there's a... There's no cure. It's incurable. The way I see it, your days as king are done. Surely there are options. There are tons of options for someone in your condition. George can be a pro run. Modern art. Pizza dough. But George, no one. Don't interrupt me when I'm on a roll, son. A hammock. Better than cardboard. An oversized coaster. No! George Jungle King, not Jungle Coaster! Super Beast need George! Ugh. Uh, little help here. I'll get the bucket. You're a fancy one, but not for long. Stop, rapscallions! Let George at Hunters! <laughs> No time for nap! George stuck! Hey! George, not give up! Floofing happened here. Extra floofy. They can't be far. Yeah! George from above! Good! Bad Eagle! Put George down! George, order Eagle! Take George back to. Oh. Hold on, flipper beast! Ow, 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 ow. I'm coming! Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Must ooze faster! Oh, George will stop you! George failed, Floofer Beasts. George no good to anyone. Floof! Maybe one thing George can do. Oh, George bad king, but good blanket. Wait, George have brain thought thing. Wait, no, stop, Floofer George Collywell here, because George need help stopping Tiger and Weevil. What happened to you? He licked a no licky frog. One of these? Wait! <laughs> oh yeah, tastes like life! George have idea, but need sewing machine and friends with bones. You floofed your last floof. Someone's poaching my flooper beast! George can still be good king with help. You itchy! Put hair on outside next time! Put on your shearing pants, Weevil. You've got feathers to shave. No one gets to jump on Tiger! Let the flooper beast go! Yes, do that now! It's nap time! That isn't sporting. It's just weird. <laughs> Come on, man. George, go save Floofer Beast. I love you, Ape. <laughs> in a can. Now the flooper beast won't have to suffer. I never would have thought this up without my new lab coat. George helped Magnolia do science. You bet. Hey, knock it off. This is a kid's show. Magnolia, uh, George no can turn away. Yes. <laughs> Leotard? Too retro. How about a nice blazer? Too fancy. Sorry, George, but we're running out of clothes to turn you into. George! I'm going to turn you into an amazing dress! And how that stop Tiger and Weevil? And since when do you care about dresses? Okay, it won't, and I don't. But the science awards are coming up, and I'll be the only one there wearing another human being! How cool is that? Right. How about a nice apron? 
Ape, it's time to stop fooling around. And turn into my living dress? No. George, have to hit Tiger where it hurts. <sighs> George, perfect fit. Get off me! I only wear natural fibers. Way more! No! Bad Hunter Man wear George jacket from now on! Hey, make King of Jungle strong as me can be! Ah! We want them for that day! Sweaters don't sing! Run to me and me! Ah! Me want them for that tree! Yeah! Me, me, King of Jungle strong as me can be! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> By Hemingway's ghost, I had a horrible dream. Really? Tell George about it. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ooh, now George Bellytop. Daring. Like so many men before, I have been defeated by fashion. Tiger? No, Weevil. Turn away before I... Man cry! I'll give you anything if you'll just unbutton yourself and slip off my shoulders, sweater man! Tiger promise to leave Floofer Beast alone? Yes! I swear it! High five, eh? Uh, yes, um... George, you moved! You're getting better! You were wrong. I guess that's what happens when you're not a real doctor. Oh. I thought you'd be thrilled. Uh, George just found pattern for scarf and a birthday coming. George, I'd wear you any day. 